Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly TwinGate Office Hours, where we look at various security challenges and how TwinGate can help you solve them. Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly video. Uh, TwinGate is a remote access solution that allows you to connect all your internal networks together. Today we're looking at a very special feature, um, but I'll pass it back to Sri. My name's Sri. I'm a I work as a DevOps content manager here at TwinGate. This week, as Emma will say, we're going to actually look at how to block ads and trackers using TwinGate with NextDNS. So Emeril, uh, do you mind walking us through a quick demo of how uh, these two solutions work together? Absolutely. Let's, uh, let me just share my screen. Okay, so here we have the TwinGate admin panel, and we're actually going to go to the secure DNS section. The other thing I'm going to do in my other browser tab is I've gone to nextdns.com and I've signed up for a free account, which I've been using recently. Um, once you've signed up, you actually have a lot of options in here. But the first thing is the, the NextDNS detects that we're not using a, a NextDNS as the resolver. We're currently using Google DNS, so we're going to fix that first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the secure DNS section and I'm going to change the DOH resolver. And I'm going to set it to custom and it's going to need a URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and copy this address. So that's the DNS over HTTPS address. I'm going to paste it in here and confirm my change. So now we're using a custom DOH resolver. This points to my specific next DNS account. And now I'm going to enable DOH. I said at the beginning of the call that this was a special uh, demo today because that's what we need to do. We don't need to actually install anything or configure anything else. We just go to our TwinGate client. I log into my network. And as soon as I'm logged into my network, what I'm going to do is flip back. Just wait for the location to come. There we go. I'm going to come here and you can see right away next DNS recognizes we're now using its configuration for resolving DNS. Once I've done this, things get very interesting. So if I was using Pi-hole before, I would have had to keep that installed. Now I don't need to install anything anywhere at home or in a cloud. I just point to next DNS and suddenly I have all these privacy options so I can block trackers. I can block affiliate links if I want to. I can also set parental controls and I can set a specific deny and allow listing. Okay, so all of this I can do without installing anything and it gives me a high level of protection. It also means that I don't need to install browser plugins to block ads anymore. And there's some pretty cool stuff in here like the AI driven threat detection. I haven't yet tried it out, but, but it sounds very interesting. And the last thing I want to show you today is the analytics, which is also very cool in NextDNS. It shows me a list of all of the sites, all of the domains that I visit, uh, and how frequent the, the DNS queries are to those resources. And if I scroll down, I can see what my source IP addresses are, and I can see the breakdown of my resources. And finally, a nice little diagram showing where most of my resources are located. Um, so unsurprisingly, uh, most of my connectivity is either in the US or around Europe. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Okay. And Emeril, do uh, you mind just giving me a little more uh, background on how exactly NextDNS works? Yes. Yeah, so NextDNS is a public service that's hosted globally, and it provides a privacy-friendly DNS service that you can basically control. The reason you can control it is they have endpoints that are secured. They use DOH, that's DNS over HTTPS. And when you use those endpoints, you get a personalized link to your next DNS account. So you can use that and then you can apply personalized filtering and privacy protections at the next DNS level. The way TwinGate interacts with that, of course, is we take any, any private traffic and route it over TwinGate, but any non-private traffic, as in public traffic, we actually will end up sending to NextDNS because you saw that's what I configured uh, in the admin panel. And that's all it took to protect all of my TwinGate client devices 
with NextDNS. Got it. And why wouldn't a user just use NextDNS on their router or install the NextDNS client? You can install the NextDNS client. The, the issue there, of course, is with the Twingate client, you can also protect your private resources, whereas the NextDNS client is specific to NextDNS. And the reason we're using a client at all is because most major operating systems today do not protect DNS traffic. You can get it at the browser level, but then DNS queries, say, from SSH are not protected. The other reason is if I, if I was going to think about putting it on my router, which is a great idea, by the way, it wouldn't automatically protect me if I'm away from home. So if I'm in a cafe or in an airport, I want my devices to be protected. OK, Good. that all makes sense. Um, well, that's it for us. Uh, thanks again, everyone, for joining us this week. Hopefully, you found today's show useful. Please feel free to shoot over any questions uh, to us on any topics you would like addressed in future shows. And we'll see you next week. See you next week.